Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be making a video per request from one of my subscribers. And I'm shocked that I'm actually getting some requests every once in a while. And in particular, this subscriber asked me to show him the motor that powers the trunk. So he he asked me specifically, just show me the motor. Uh, I don't know about, uh, sp you know, specifics about like if he wants to see how it works or maybe his is malfunctioning and he kind of wants to see what's going on in there. Uh, but I'll be happy to. And uh, as far as I know, uh, these motors for the power uh, trunk only came on the top tier trims, which would be like Signature Limited. I think they were also just on the uh, the last generation. I don't think they there were on any of the, the previous ones. So the ones that started from 2003 to the very end. So they would be on things like Signature Limited. I think Ultimate had it. And uh, I believe the designers as well. And I'll be honest with you. This is my first ever sedan with a power trunk. I know BMWs have them. I know um, a lot of other more modern cars do. But for an 06 car, I mean, I don't know too many manufacturers. Maybe like the top of the line Mercedes S-Class had them. Obviously, uh, maybe some of the SUVs at the time had them, but as far as actually a sedan, I don't think actually 2006, so my car is 2006, I don't think 2006 Cadillac, whatever that was, I think it was DTS, I don't believe that had it, so as far as that's concerned, uh, this is unique. So I'm going to, I mean, I'll be happy to make it. Um, I do use it quite often. I do also enjoy the automatic pull-down feature, which, you know, just soft close. I like that. I think it adds a touch of style. So I'm going to be removing my toolbox here and I will be happy to hopefully expose this motor and to show uh, this that particular subscriber but also whoever else is interested kind of the inner workings and I'm, I'm also happy to see that my still works you know 14 years later. So let's see how this goes. Alright so the first thing you need to do is to remove this little cheap protective mouse fur covering. Uh, the the rear of your trunk and it starts to look like this Th these are just my extra floor mats here so you're basically exposing the motor and the way that, that they're held in place you see these three posts right here one two and three they're being held together by these three little clips right up here so now what I did, I thought that they would unscrew, but so I got a screwdriver, but no, you actually just pry them open. They're sitting right here. There's nothing holding it in place but the friction. So there's three of those. And then you simply just pull it away and that would expose the motor. Now it is tucked in underneath that material right there. So I have a feeling I'll struggle for, you know, to get it back in there for, for a few minutes, but it's okay. It's an interesting exploration. So for the next segment, I'm gonna climb in here to show you what it does. All right, so as I plant myself in the trunk, I see some components here. I don't know what this component is, uh, and I cannot focus on it because it's way too close, but you got some kind of electronic thing in the jiggy. You do have speakers up here you do have this big plastic thing i i don't really know what that is um seems to be just i don't know those of you who unbolt stuff from your car randomly tell me it looks like there's one big bolt i don't see anything as far as like that's not obvious at least all right anyway you do have this box right here Caution, device may be hot, assembled in Mexico. Well, that doesn't, that doesn't give me a lot of hope. There's a Lincoln, so it's a, something Delphi. Okay, so I don't know. If there could be audio components, once again, you do have all this weird stuff in here. Once again, I'll try to, it's a really tight confines. I can't really focus on that. Once again, I'm, I'm literally sitting in the trunk. But this is the motor. And, oh, here, there's some speakers, once again. Uh, could be some sort of audio equipment. And the bottom line is, here is the motor. Well, this is the actual motor itself, right up here. Let's see, can I focus on that? Come on, phone. Well, 
I don't know. Well, scrap, scrap have dropped? Wow, so I hope I don't drop it because I definitely don't want to scrap it. So anyway, so as I'm sitting, here's my, here's my knee. As I'm sitting here in the trunk of my own car, here's what happens. So I'm gonna try to pull my trunk close. So this is the arm. You can kind of see, I'm gonna do it again. You can kind of see the arm right up here. That's what moves. Now I'm guessing that this motor, and I'm gonna to try to close it, is gonna move this arm. So I got the keys uh, in my pocket, okay. You know, I spend an awful lot of time in the trunk of my own car. That's probably like the third or fourth time I've done this. But anything for my viewers. So I appreciate the question. And I'm going to lay down. And I'm also going to turn on the flash. <laughs> Let's see. How do I do that? Uh, all right. Stand by. All right. I think the flash is on. All right. Let's try this. Okay. I am in the trunk of my car. There it is, not the first time, probably not gonna be the last time. Here's everything that you wanna know, and I hope that the stuff doesn't get blown away. So here it is in the dark. All right, let's try this again. Let's unlock. All right, so it looks like this motor right up here is basically just dragging down this arm. And you can kind of see how it's connected in here. Now, if that motor wasn't there, then obviously then these two sticks, as you can kind of see right up here, they probably wouldn't come in this assembly either. There's the electrical component. There's the power that goes into the motor. It all looks pretty basic. So let's try this again. Yeah. So here you go. So if you ever... <laughs> I don't know if any of this stuff has anything to do with it, but I, I probably not, but you can kind of see all the wires. Today's a relatively cool day, so I can, I can lean here. I can see all the nice dust. All right. So there you have it. I guess if this motor, God forbid, ever to go bad, I mean, you technically don't need the motor because as you can see, like I'm gonna try and pull the trunk closed myself right now yeah you can kind of see it right here these arms basically they still move down but the motor is not engaged so you technically don't need the motor so god forbid if it ever fails you you can still the trunk will operate and i i don't know if i'm ever gonna fix it or not if it if it ever does you kind of see the trunk now, there are people walking around. I already saw some very strange looks that came my way. It's like, what is this guy doing locking himself in the trunk? But I don't care. So here you go. Yeah, so even when you get the trunk kind of low enough. Oh, well, I guess I don't have anything to pull it down. Uh, maybe this handle. Ah, uh, well, I can't, I guess. Maybe if I... All right, well, I don't have anybody... To assist me and I don't want to really sweat my hand so yeah so you see it doesn't it doesn't engage because I, I'm pulling down on this one string that's supposed to keep it open so there you go all right I think I oh well I think I showed you everything I possibly could so again uh, there's some rubber like stopper stopper things right up here you know what they're not rubber they're actually metal so okay so there you go. Now you should know how to get to your motor. If I, I don't think there's a way of adding the motor actually after. Like if you bought the, the signature or whatever, it doesn't have one. I mean, hypothetically you could, but at the same time, I mean, I don't know if you want to invest all the time and energy it takes for this whole assembly right here to hook it up. Again, it's a nice luxury feature, but I guess not that important. All right, I'm going to climb out. I'm going to try to put it all back. That's the most important part to me now. All right, and I, if I had to guess that the whole pull-down mechanism is probably in here. So once it latches on, I guess it kind of suctions itself down this way through this assembly, whatever's underneath here. But I'm not going to remove it. This seems to be a bit more of a pain than it's worth. And then my car did come with this stuff like this, so I don't know. I 
that's that came before me so all right so it took me a couple minutes to get it back in there uh, the trick is if you are planning to do this yourself uh, is to get this piece right here underneath the other carpet because otherwise as you can kind of see you see this little hump it's supposed to actually go over that so it's the hump is kind of like this i think this is a remnant of when the, the the spare wheel was back back here or up here you can also see some sort of a, a slit once again i didn't do that it came like this and it looks like there's some sort of a hook so i think at some point when uh tires uh, the spare tires were up to here and not up there uh this is a remnant of that so then this piece this curved piece kind of goes over that and it kind of covers it up until i realized that it, it wouldn't fit and then you can kind of see here it does have the ford emblem and everything and then these very cheap plastic things just go right up there and just line up with the screw and then you kind of click them in i don't know if you heard that and there you go that's the only thing that holds this piece together now why did they want to do that why couldn't they just make some sort of like a flap here wouldn't that make more sense or make this piece separate from everything else just on a one clip so if you can access the motor but i guess that's too much to ask so all right so here you go here's that oh, i gotta get it in the hole nope all right well you guys kind of get the idea so yeah all right i'm gonna do this off camera all right so there you have it um the trick is also to tug this thing underneath so it doesn't stick over that so there you go once it kind of tucks in those things clip in and then it holds in place and then this becomes covered up i'm guessing that on the models that does don't have the motor that thing is does not exist so it's just flat kind of like on this side here and yeah and if you do everything correctly you're just gonna end up with this and then the suction down and then same thing it goes up all right so if you have any other ideas any other questions anything that does not require me to take apart you know half of a car i'll be more than happy to show you and hopefully i you know learn myself i enjoy doing that and yeah, and I appreciate your comments and ideas. Anything you guys can do, I appreciate it. And we will see you next time.